Today I'm going to be reviewing a recent release from the Lockman Foundation. This is the NASB Side Column Reference Bible. Um, my particular copy is the NASB 2020, but they also released this Bible in the NASB 95. So just depends on which translation you prefer. So this is printed in Korea. It says here on the front and whoops, camera earthquake there. Sorry about that. The features are not on the back, they're on the side of the box, so you may not be able to read them very well, but I will read them to you. This one is the Prime Edition, but it also comes in um, imitation leather covers as well. So this one is a goatskin cover, it has a clear reading type, it's line matched, single column text, it has the full set of 95,000 plus cross references, full set of translation notes, verse formatting, black letter text, 10.5 font size, we're going to see a presentation page, family records pages, which I will show you in a minute. And then we're also going to get a topical index, book introductions, and color maps. So this is the brown goatskin cover. It's also available in black. And like I said, there's also imitation leather cover options. When I first opened this, I was like, is this really brown? It kind of looks black to me. It's a pretty dark brown, but it's very nice. Nice um, grain pattern here. And then on our spine, we're going to get some raised spine hubs. We're going to get gold print with Holy Bible, New American Standard Bible 2020, and then the NASB Lockman Foundation. We have two ribbon markers in brown and black, and they are double-sided. Pretty nice ribbon markers there. We're going to get red under gold art gilding, and it does also have perimeter stitching. Edge lined, of course. And then at the beginning here, we're going to get our presentation page. These are kind of that glossy, I don't really know how to describe it, but suffice it to say being a left-handed person, um, writing on these pages and with your left hand and dragging your hand possibly across the pen could be an issue. Know that from personal experience, so just be careful what pen you use when you write on these pages. And if you're left-handed like me, make sure you lift your hand up when you're writing. Then we're going to have page for marriages. The wife's family tree and husband's family tree. A um, place to record births and deaths. And then a place to record occasions to remember, which I think that's kind of cool. That's different. All right, and then we're going to get a table of contents. We're going to have a forward after that, which I won't bother turning the page as that's just the beginning of that. And then we're going to get an explanation of general format and abbreviations and special markings. If you're not familiar with the NASB translation, highly recommend that you check that out first before you start digging into your new Bible. And then we get into the Old Testament. So I love that this is single column. It is verse by verse, which I think is helpful. Uh, I don't preach, obviously, but if I did, that would be helpful to preach from. It will be helpful if you take it to um, Bible study or church and you need to quickly reference a verse. Um, this layout can be very helpful for that. For that. Uh, we're going to have references out here in the margin. There's a little space. If you wanted to take notes, you could sneak that in there. And I think the font's very readable. Like I said before, it is line matched. It is 10.5 size font. It's nice and bold. Your verse and chapter numbers are, are pretty bold as well, as well as your headings. So pretty easy Bible to use um, for quick reference. Like I said, if you're taking it along to like your church service and following along with your pastor, it would be easy to, to do that. Paper feels really nice. I'm not 100% sure what the GSM is. I want to say at least like 32 I'm not great at judging that. It, I think it's high, definitely higher than 28, so somewhere between like 32, 36. But it's good paper, in my humble opinion. Um, just going to the gutter a little bit. Um, if I Now again, I always say this, but I'm also holding it up for the camera. I'm not laying it flat. And when I review my Bibles, I do have them you know, for a few days to go through them and kind of get an idea of what they're all about before I post my review. But I haven't been using them extensively yet, so it will probably loosen up a little bit with time, but just something to be aware of there.
it's a very nice Bible for referencing, um, for reading. And it's not a tiny Bible, but it's also not super heavy or bulky either. So this is definitely one I would be comfortable taking to church and not have an issue with that. It is single columns. That always makes them a little thicker. But it's, it's not terrible in any sense. Okay, let's go ahead and skip into the New Testament here. So here we are in John. This is a black letter text, which that's what I always prefer. So I like that about it. Go ahead and get to the end here now. Skipped a little too far there. Almost at the end of Revelation. I want to make sure I show you everything in the back. So we're first going to have the New American Standard Bible topical index of the Bible. Get that first. And then let's go through that here. probably tap this back here so I could have moved quicker but that's okay make sure I didn't miss anything okay then we're going to have an introduction to the books of the Bible so instead of having the book introductions at the beginning of each book this particular Bible has them in the back of the book so that's kind of nice because they're all together in one place you can just page back here and reference more than one book at a time if you would prefer to do that or it just it kind of suits everyone's needs some people like book introductions some people don't so if you're not a fan, it's not right in the book, but if you do really like that, it's still there for you in the back of the Bible. So kind of the best of both worlds there. Then we're going to have the parables of Jesus. So it gives you the title, it gives you the reference, whether it's found in Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, or any combination of the above. Same thing for the miracles of Jesus and important events in Christ's life, according to the Gospels. Um, then we also have Old Testament prophecies fulfilled in Christ. So you get the prophecy, which is the reference in the Old Testament. You get the prediction of what the prophecy is telling you. And then you get the fulfillment in the New Testament. Then we have a Bible in the year plan. This gives you, uh, it goes by day. The year starts on January 1st and gives you a Old Testament and a New Testament reading for each day. Okay, then we're going to get into our maps. And then we are at the end of the Bible. So this is a really nice Bible. Like I said, it's, it's, it's definitely not a teeny tiny compact Bible, but it's a pretty good size for being a verse by verse single column Bible. So definitely something you could carry along with you to church. Um, it's helpful if you are quick, need to quick reference a verse that it is in that layout. That's helpful. I like that it's line matched. Um, paper seems decent. It's black letter. Um, so, yeah, I like a lot of things about this Bible. And I, I, don't, I don't use single column Bibles only, but I always uh, appreciate a single column Bible. And some of my favorites are in single column. So I do like that about this one as well. So, again, this is... The Side Column Reference Bible, it is available in the NASB 2020 as well as the 95. And I also like that Lachman gives that option that you can choose um, between those two translations or maybe both if you're comparing them. And I don't know, this Bible and some of my other NASB Bibles that I've acquired recently or had for a little while and just haven't used a lot um, is really making me want to dig into this translation more in 2024. So I think I'm going to be doing that. Not sure quite what plan I'm going to be using yet, but I really would like to use this translation a little more in the upcoming year. And this would be a great Bible to do that with. So definitely check it out if you're looking for a single column uh, reference Bible in the NASB translation.